been fighting for 17 years, been doing it for a long time. I just love fighting. All I ever did was just love fighting and just wanted to fight. I never really knew where it was going to go. People always said, oh, you'll never do anything in the sport and there's, there's nothing for women. And um, I didn't believe that. I knew that something would come one day. I didn't know what it was. It was probably like 13 years into my career that Dana White called me and he was like, hey, I want you to be on The Ultimate Fighter. I want you to be in the first string of women in the UFC at the, in the strawweight division. And um, so, you know, I was doing good. I was, I was fighting constantly. I was in the top 10, you know, the entire time in the UFC. And um, I was getting ready for UFC Chicago, which is awesome because I'm from Chicago. So I was just shooting in for a double leg. I was just drilling. So I shot in for a double leg. I cut the corner, but my shoe got stuck. And so my foot didn't travel with my leg. My leg hyperextended. Um, I felt it pop. I knew something was wrong. And I always joked with people like, oh, I'm sturdy. I got a good, I got a good face. I was like made to be punched. <laughs> like back in my kickboxing days, I broke my arm. But a broken bone is, is like you're back so much sooner than, than a, a ligament or a tendon. And I never had like a very severe, severe injury that like put me out for a long time. You fully tore your ACL, your meniscus, you strained your LCL, MCL, and PCL, so you'll need surgery. Everybody knows that like an ACL is like the worst injury like an athlete can have. It's like the absolute worst. The one thing I love to do the most, I can't do, and I can't even train. You know, like all my training right now is just like trying to get back to normal. Like the emotional toll of being injured is like, it's the worst. And feeling like you're nobody just because you're injured. Trying to get knee extension and trying to get my muscles back, you know, trying to walk again, like all that's like, way harder than going in the gym every day and just grinding, getting ready for a fight, because you have an end goal that's glamorous. Like my end goal is just to be normal again, just so I can play my sport. It's probably the hardest fight of my career, just trying to get back to where I was before. Not being able to do what you love like lights a fire under your ass and like makes you like remember like why you started and like having to go through something like this it's like mentally and emotionally draining but when you can get through something like that it makes you stronger all around all my focus now is like honed in on my recovery and all I can think about is like getting back and like being able to fight again 17 years of my life I've dedicated to sport so I'm coming back full swing 100% I'm ready to go just because you haven't seen me in a while there'll be plenty more to see in the future